Metamorphosis by Publius Ovidius Naso, translated by Brooks Moore, Book One, Part One. When, from his throne supreme, the son of Saturn viewed their deeds, he deeply groaned, and calling to his mind the loathsome feast Lycaon had prepared, a recent deed not common to report, his soul conceived great anger, worthy Jove, and he convened a council. No delay detained the chosen gods. When skies are clear, a path is well defined on high, which men, because so white, have named the Milky Way. It makes a passage for the deities, and leads to mentions of the thunder god, to Jove's imperial home. On either side of its wide way the noble gods are seen, inferior gods in other parts abide, but there the potent and renowned of heaven have fixed their homes. It is a glorious place, our most audacious verse might designate the palace of high heaven. When the gods were seated, therefore, in its marble halls, the king of all above the throne sat high, and leaning on his ivory sceptre, thrice and once again he shook his awful locks, wherewith he moved the earth and seas and stars, and thus indignantly began to speak. The time when serpent-footed giants strove to fix their hundred arms on captive heaven, not more than this event could cause alarm for my dominion of the universe. Although it was a savage enemy, yet warred we with a single source derived of one. Now must I utterly destroy this mortal race, wherever Nereus roars around the world. Yea, by the infernal streams that glide through Stygian groves beneath the world, I swear it. Every method has been tried. The knife must cut immedicable wounds, lest maladies infect untainted parts. Beneath my sway are demigods and fauns, nymphs, rustic deities, sylvans of the hills, satyrs. All these unworthy heavens abodes we should at least permit to dwell on earth which we to them bequeathed. What think ye, gods? Is safety theirs when I, your sovereign lord, the thunderbolt controller, am ensnared by fiercely Khan? Ardent in their wrath, the astonished gods demand revenge overtake this miscreant, he who dared commit such crimes. T'was even thus, when raged that impious band to blot the Roman name in sacred blood of Caesar, sudden apprehensive fears of ruin absolute astonished men, and all the world convulsed. Nor is the love thy people bear to thee, Augustus, less than these display to Jupiter, whose voice and gesture all the murmuring host restrained. And as indignant clamor ceased, suppressed by regnant majesty, Jove once again broke the deep silence with imperial words. Dismiss your cares, he pay the penalty. However, all the crime and punishment now learn from this. An infamous report of this unholy age had reached my ears, and wishing it were false, I sloped my course from high Olympus, and although a god, disguised in human form, I view the world. It would delay us to recount the crimes unnumbered, for reports were less than truth. I traversed Manalus, where fearful dens abound, over Lycaeus, wintry slopes of pine-tree groves, across Silenus steep, and as the twilight warned of night's approach, I stopped in that Arcadian tyrant's realms, and entered his inhospitable home. And when I showed his people that a god had come, the lowly prayed and worshipped me, but this Lycan mocked their pious vows, and scoffing said, a fair experiment will prove the truth, if this be God or man. And he prepared to slay me in the night, to end my slumbers in the sleep of death. So made he merry with his impious proof, but not content with this, he cut the throat of a Molossian hostage sent to him, and partly softened his still quivering limbs in boiling water, partly roasted them on fires that burned beneath, and when this flesh was served to me on tables, I destroyed his dwelling and his worthless household gods with thunderbolts avenging. Terror struck, he took to flight, and on the silent plains is howling in his vain attempts to speak. 
he raves and rages in his greedy jaws desiring their accustomed slaughter turn against the sheep still eager for their blood his vesture separates in shaggy hair his arms are chained to legs and as a wolf he has the same gray locks the same hard face the same bright eyes the same ferocious look <laughs>